Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie. I make videos about living in Copenhagen. It's a really hot and sticky day in September today, but I'm on uh, Vesterbro and I thought I would show you around some of the new secondhand shops that have um, opened up here over the last sort of 12 months or so. Uh, the first one we're going to go into is a kilo um, vintage shop where basically um, they weigh the clothes and you pay how much they weigh. I think it's 350 crowns a kilo. They have scales in there, you can weigh them, but we're gonna go and take a look. I'm going to... Okay, so now we're coming into the shop. First thing you'll see here are lots of jumpers. As you can see, everything is quite retro and vintage look. Uh, so they're the jumpers, there's me, hello some scarves there and as we go around here you've got some blouses i wasn't very impressed with the blouse section although some of the you know they get new stuff every single week uh over here we've got these um plaid as you call them in the us but uh, check shirts these are guys ones um and denim shirts but of course you know there's no such thing as guys or girls clothes these days you know it's it's whatever you like there's jackets there as well some fur coats Tons and tons of jeans. You need to have quite a bit of patience for the jeans there. Uh, some kimonos, some more skirts, jackets. It's all arranged in different sections. Uh, that's the name of it, Kino Vintage Store. Some cardigans. Now we're into um, the sort of the, the guy section again. We've got some Yongsi shirts, uh, some more check shirts there, uh, some waistcoats and some t-shirts now this is the thing that i love the most in here you've got all these t-shirts there's lots of disney ones if you're lucky and you love snoopy like me you'll find some snoopy ones uh hard rock cafe there's also sort of like college ones um bugs bunny there you see um, and also with these sweatshirts as well uh you've got these uh, ones there and the sunglasses and there's also kind of retro sportswear this is how it works. You've got the scales here. You pop your item on the scales. It tells you how much it weighs and how much in crowns. Uh, there's a pair of jeans. They were 287 crowns. So that gives you an idea of what a pair of jeans would be like. Um, I've bought t-shirts in the past and I've had maybe three t-shirts for 130 kroner. If you watch any of my other videos about secondhand shops, I like to pick out a few items that I liked in the shop. First of all was this Hawaiian style shirt and then as I mentioned there is lots of Disney Mickey Mouse that's the Mickey Mouse t-shirt and the next one is more like a, a Mickey Mouse nightdress I guess or it's a long t-shirt uh, next up we have a Hard Rock Cafe one I picked out one of the cooler ones but they have some of the standard ones as well I loved this Santa Monica Track Club Nike top it was in really good nick but didn't fit me as this jacket also didn't fit me but I really liked that as well this is an example of the kind of the college style hoodies and sweatshirts they have and waistcoats. My God, they had some great ones. There's this tartan one here, uh, which was real wool, I think, um, which is really lovely. And then this one, which is more like a wedding one, but I liked it. It was really silky and soft and looked really nice and kind of vintage. And then there were lots of these kimonos. Um, I'm not sure how one would wear them, dressing gown, out, I'm not sure, but they're beautiful and really, really well made. Lots of different jeans, and these are some hiking trousers where you zip off the ends. Uh, the jury's out on what people really think about those ones. And then the last thing I picked out was this kind of pop art um, t-shirt sweater type thing. Now next up we have the If Who Manor uh, secondhand shop. Now I've been in here a few times. It's a little bit more expensive than a lot of the charity um, secondhand shops, but they have quite a lot of vintage stuff. Okay, when you first come in, you've got lots of shirts, uh, a lot of the and trench coats here, which are really good uh, price as well. As I say, things are a little bit more expensive in here. You're not gonna find much under uh, 200 crowns. You've got jeans, there are bags there. Uh, a great pair of Dr. Martin boots. Uh, they look like they're in good nick as well. Uh, you've got sweatshirts over here. Um, a Stetson, which is a bit weird, and trousers, a lot of kind of workman style trousers. It is quite retro in here. I loved that satchel. Um, there's a few of those that they had in. Leather jackets as well, um, more jeans as you can see. You're not going to get much in here below about 200 crowns. There's another satchel. They actually had three, which I thought was really, really nice. They've got some signage telling you where the proceeds of the shop go to. 
Uh, there's the trousers again. Lovely, lovely, lovely shoes here. Really nice shoes. Um, it's nicely arranged this shop, I think, as well. And you had a pair here of Burberry um, shoes. Uh, not sure whether they were genuine or not, but they were 250 kroner. They looked like they were in good condition as well. Tons of trainers and more trousers. These are women's trousers. Cowboy boots, because they are the thing this season. Um, and you've got those there and some blazers. You've got all the kind of things that you're really going to be looking for and more Doc Martin boots. Um, so you've got those. And as I like to do, I picked out a few things that I liked in here. There's this Dickie shirt, which is 20. 220 crowns, a pair of leopard print trousers. I just love leopard print, never wear these myself, but I think they're quite nice. A uh, large vintage dress, uh, which had sort of um, hats on. This Harley Davidson shirt, which I thought was superb. Again, 275 kroner, but look at the back of it. I mean, that's, that's just fabulous. If you're into that kind of thing, Harley Davidson or just that style. And this I loved as well. It was like an old fashioned sort of uh, dressing gown, padded dressing gown. I used to really want one of those when I was little and I think I did have one. And loads and loads of different bags. We've already seen the satchel, which I think, uh, look again, there's a Burberry. There's some LV bags, a beaded bag there. I don't think the LV bags were genuine. Um, some sort of uh, upcycled bags and there's that wonderful satchel again. And this bag with the birds on, I'm really tempted to go back and get that one. Okay, so next up we have, this is quite a new shop. It's on Vesterbrugge and I've got the address here. It's Kirkens Kirsch or uh, Gembru. There we go, that's the address, and let's go in and take a look and see what they've got in here. Now, they've arranged things as you would expect in uh, quite a modern second-hand shop. It's all by sort of type and then by colour within it. You've got trousers here. They've got some nice little displays at the top, some jumpers and these nice uh, faux Birkenstocks. Plenty of jeans, as usual. You always find there are plenty of jeans in uh, second-hand shops, although jeans are quite a tricky thing to find that fit. And some more tops over here as well plenty of shoes now in this shop they only put one of the shoes out so you if you're interested you have to ask for the other one and at the front they have a rack with their kind of like specials on as well and they've got some really pretty dresses there um, and over here you've got some scarves and some shirts now so as usual i'm going to take a look at a few things i liked in the store i really like this man's shirt here um, it's a guy's shirt but obviously anybody can wear it and also this one was super soft and really really nice everything in this store is pretty inexpensive as well so you can definitely get some bargains here another nice uh, plaid or check shirt um, a gingham blouse I always think that gingham or check always looks really clean and fresh so there's that one there as well which I really liked this cardigan was so soft and uh, I'll be very honest it's no longer in the store because I bought it and took it home and it's virtually brand new and I'm really looking forward to wearing that in the autumn obviously these kind of college sweatshirts are very popular at the moment this one I liked as well um, I don't know who the coyotes are but it's a nice color and it's got that green logo on the front um, some trousers some nice comfy trousers they're kind of like a a thin check I think um, they're really nice and again you can see I love check things this is really really nice it's kind of like a mint color um, there which is gorgeous this I also bought an Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch sweatshirt it's kind of a little bit retro um, I really like that it was super soft Le Fix a uh, very well-known brand here, um, quite expensive, but this was, as I say, most things in the shop are pretty inexpensive and you can get some good bargains. I love that. What have we got next? Uh, we've got like a little zip-up bomber jacket here. Uh, that's really nice as well. Um, bomber jackets are in fashion this autumn, so good for thrifting and finding. Uh, red dress here that's really cute as well you could wear that with over jeans or you know with tights so that's lovely um, this dress is really nice it, it kind of makes me think of uh, Julia Roberts <coughs> in uh, Pretty Woman I like that as well I actually bought that one too and there were the faux Birkenstocks that we saw earlier and a few more of the things that we've got here you've got lots of uh, guys shirts and trousers in there so this is definitely one, this is, this is definitely a shop to check out and really good prices.